They call it the Grey Cup of the Grilling World. The Canadian Open Barbecue Championships start today in Barrie, Ontario. Some 30 teams will be competing for the top prize of $5,000 in cash and a spot in the prestigious Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational Barbecue in Tennessee. And joining us this morning is one of the teams. And they are led by Diva Q. She is the pit master. Her name is Danielle Demofsky. Should I call you Ms. Q? Uh, no, <laughs> Danielle's good. Thank you, Marcy. Okay, I Danielle. That. No, you know, competitive barbecuing, you automatically think this is a man's type of thing. Man, no, a lot of people, you're changing that. I'm so glad. How did you get into this? Uh, last year, I actually judged the Canadian Open here in Barrie. Uh, it was a phenomenal experience. We had lots and lots of great uh, competitors and teams here. We got to see some of the best barbecue in the world, not just Canada. And because of that, we were able to take a look at what, what we wanted to do for this year. And that's what got me hooked. And that's what got you hooked. And I that see was your, it. I see your arm there with your sauce and everything. What are you going to be making for the competition? For the competition, we have uh, brisket, ribs, chicken, pulled pork. We also do a phenomenal dessert that we're hoping to win badly. And we also do a great sauce. And there's an open category called Anything But. Oh, my. And Anything But is a wonderful category because it lets all the creativity come out. Or there's something looking quite fabulous on the grill. <laughs> what, what are you making? Today we've got three racks of ribs. Uh, we've got a nice uh, maple chipotle sauce on them. We really we make the sauce ourselves. Maple chipotle, like that. We like this one. This is our own custom blend sauce. Um, we've got some beautiful ribs from Hubby's Gourmet, which is here in Barrie. Uh, we, we get a lot of our meat from there, and they've got great um, Angus beef. We really like it. Uh, we've got some beautiful stuffed jalapenos, one of the competitions that we call it the crack of the barbecue world because they're so addictive. Uh, they're jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese and wrapped in bacon. I'm hungry. Of and course, then, you don't do this alone, all of this fabulous stuff. Oh, no, stuff. no, no. You've got a team. Can you quickly introduce us to them? Absolutely. This right. is my husband, Vlado. He's in the background here. He's my big guy. He's my right-hand <laughs> man. He is my, my, also my love of my life. This is my, one of my dearest friends, Louisa. Uh-huh. She, she is the one that keeps us all on track for time and lists. We have my buddy, John, who's actually on maintenance right now, cleaning <laughs> off some girls, getting ready. It's important. It is. So we work together as a team, and uh, I, I couldn't be here without them. You're not going to be getting a lot of sleep, are you, in the next little uh, while? In all honesty, last night we were actually here just setting up. I got about two hours in the back of my tent. Uh, this Tonight, because we got all the big meats going off, we're going to be here all night long. I won't sleep tonight. I like coffee, so it's a good thing. And you've got three little kids, so you're used to... I have asleep. awesome three kids at home. I yeah. know they're at uh, Grandma and Grandpa's right now, and uh, God bless them for taking care of them this week because we had to do pre preparations for all of this. For all of this. All of this. Can it's you, worth it. As you, as you grill your, your fabulous meats there and, and, and you barbecue and do all that, can you share some tips for those watching at home going, how can I get my meat to look that good? Absolutely. I would say, number one, start with some good equipment. Uh, we've got a Traeger uh, wood pellet fire grill here. We've got a Weber kettle here. Both of them are great equipment pieces. Um, the Weber kettle grills are under $300. We've got Weber Smoky Mountains. That's the first step. I think the second step is definitely get yourself some good charcoal. Um, charcoal is, is essential in regards to, you know, providing that great flavor. We use uh, Bass Natural Hardwood Charcoal for all of our uh, charcoal smokers. Buy some great meat. Once again, we use Hubby's Gourmet Meats. There you um, go. And it, and it works. And you know what? Go to barbecuetalk.ca. It's a Canadian forum that helps us uh, discover all the different rubs that everybody's using in Canada. Overall, um, we use you know all that information that we've gotten from that forum and to Danielle? help us. Yep. Danielle, thank you so much for this. Wish I could talk to you forever. I can't. At a time. Best of luck to you and your Thanks. team. Diva thank Q. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. We're back after this. She was too much fun. <laughs>